Hello, Aryan. Hello, George. How are you? I am well. Thank you for asking. And what's up with you? I'm fine. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. It is Wednesday? Yeah. Okay. And I think it's getting late in the day for you today? Yeah. It's getting late. Okay. I like that shirt. That shirt looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I like the colors. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Black and red. Yeah, and the it's yellow good. here. Yeah, okay. So how was your day today? What did you do today? It was a great day. So today was my first day at school. It was a completely new experience. For me, I made a new friend named Vivan. I enjoyed a lot in my school and in bus. Wow, that sounds super, a super good day. Yeah, new experiences, a new friend. Yeah, yeah that, that doesn't happen every day. Okay, so you must be feeling pretty good right now. Yeah, I'm very good. Okay, super. And uh, what will you do tomorrow? Do you uh, have any plans for tomorrow? No, not really. Okay. You know, that's when sometimes, uh, so I wrote the word and here's the definition. Can you see that? That happen that you're not looking for. We see this example here. They found each other by pure serendipity. An example, imagine there's a, a man who is not married. He doesn't have a girlfriend, uh, but he would like to have one. But right now he doesn't. And it's Saturday. He's in his home, apartment, whatever. And he decides to go take a walk in the park. He just wants to get out, and he thinks, I'll just walk in the park for a little bit, and I'll come home. And he starts walking, and what happens? He meets a woman, also walking, and uh, they start talking. They seem to like each other. So uh, they might uh, exchange information. Uh, I said, here's my email or whatever, send me a message. They start communicating. They become boyfriend to girlfriend. They end up getting married and living happily ever after. That would be a serendipity. If he had not taken that walk, he might not have met her. So certain things uh, can happen. Uh, even like the smallest thing. I'm going to put up this other one, butterfly effect. Have you ever heard of the butterfly effect? No. Okay. And let, let me write this here. So the idea of a butterfly, well, you know what a hurricane or cyclone or a typhoon is. Yes. Okay. The idea of a, a butterfly effect is that um, a butterfly flapping its wings, it can have a huge effect in the end of something. It can have an influence of whether uh, uh, a, a hurricane or cyclone happens or doesn't happen. Okay. So I'm going to put this up here. And let me put this definition here. Do you see what I just wrote there? It means very small. So we're not pronouncing it minute. We're pronouncing it minute. Okay. Do you see that? And let me know if you have any questions on that definition. I'll give you an example. Yes. Okay. And uh, I have two restaurants to choose from. 
I like both of them. So I'm thinking, do I go to this restaurant? Do I go to this restaurant? And then I decide to uh, go to this restaurant. Okay. And so I go there. And at the same time at the other restaurant, uh, imagine there is, oh, I don't really want to use that example, but it's, because uh, I already used the girl. Uh, imagine at the other restaurant, something happens and the restaurant explodes. Boom. Okay. If I had gone to that other restaurant, I would have been in the explosion. But because I went to the other, I decided, I just made that little decision. Okay. To go, then I'm okay. If I went to the other restaurant and I died, then that would set off this huge effect with my family. My wife would have lost a husband. If I had any kids, they would have lost a father. And that's the idea of a butterfly effect. Just a little small change that can have a big effect further on. Okay. It's actually a, a pretty cool movie called The Butterfly Effect. Oh, which movie? That's what it's called. Uh, let me find it here for you. And a Butterfly Effect movie. I saw this, and it's actually pretty good. So uh, let me put this uh, over here. I'll play the trailer for you. Okay, let me, and uh, I haven't seen the trailer, but I have seen the movie, and it is pretty good. So let's take a look at the trailer. Okay, can you see that? Remember when we were kids and I... Hello, Aryan. Hello, George. How are you? I am well. Thank you for asking. And what's up with you? I'm fine. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. It is Wednesday? Yeah. Okay. And I think it's getting late in the day for you today? Yeah. It's I... getting late. Okay. I like that shirt. That shirt looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I like the colors. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Black and red. Yeah, and the it's yellow good. here. Yeah, okay. So how was your day today? What did you do today? It was a great day. So today was my first day at school. It was a completely new experience for me. I made a new friend named Vivan. I enjoyed a lot in my school and in bus. Wow, that sounds super, a super good day. Yeah, new experiences, a new friend. Yeah. yeah, that that doesn't happen every day. Okay, so you must be feeling pretty good right now. Yeah, I'm very good. Okay, super. And, uh, what will you do tomorrow? Do you uh, have any plans for tomorrow? No, not really. Okay. You know, that's when sometimes uh, good things happen. They just happen. There's a word we use, serendipity. It may be a word you don't know. Seren, let me write it here. Serendipity. Oh, I can't even read what I'm writing. Serendipity. Okay. Have you ever heard of this word serendipity? Uh, no. Okay. And I'll put up the definition here. Okay. And there's like an example here. So I wrote the word and... Here's the definition. Can you see that? Ooh. 
Okay. So it's kind of like talking about luck in a way. Yeah, you can find finding something valuable or pleasant things that happen that you're not looking for. We see this example here. They found each other by pure serendipity. An example, imagine there's a, a man who is not married. He doesn't have a girlfriend, uh, but he would like to have one. But right now he doesn't. And it's Saturday. He's in his home, apartment, whatever. And he decides to go take a walk in the park. He just wants to get out. And he thinks, I'll just walk in the park for a little bit. And I'll come home. And he starts walking. And what happens? He meets a woman, also walking. And uh, they start talking. They seem to like each other. So uh, they might uh, exchange information. Uh, I say, here's my email or whatever. Send me a message. They start communicating. They become boyfriend to girlfriend. They end up getting married and living happily ever after. Mm -hmm. That would be a serendipity. If he had not taken that walk, he might not have met her. So. Certain things uh, can happen. Uh, even like the smallest thing. I'm going to put up this other one. Butterfly effect. Have you ever heard of the butterfly effect? Yeah. Okay. And l let me write this here. So the idea of a butterfly. Well, you know what a hurricane or cyclone or a typhoon is. Yes. Okay. The idea of a, a butterfly effect is that um, a butterfly flapping its wings, it can have a huge effect in the end of something. Mm -hmm. It can have an influence of whether uh, uh, a, a hurricane or cyclone happens or doesn't happen. Okay, so I'm going to put this up here. And let me put this definition here. Do you see what I just wrote there? I'm minute, minute, local. Minute means very small. So we're not pronouncing it minute, we're pronouncing it minute. Okay, do you see that? And let me know if you have any questions on that definition. I'll give you an example. Yes. Okay. So, an example. Uh, pizza. Let's imagine pizza. I want pizza for lunch. Okay. And uh, I have two restaurants to choose from. I like both of them. So I'm thinking, do I go to this restaurant? Do you, I go to this restaurant? And then I decide to uh, go to this restaurant. Okay. And so I go there. And at the same time at the other restaurant... Uh, imagine there is, oh, I don't really want to use that example, but it's, because uh, I already used the girl. Uh, imagine at the other restaurant, something happens and the restaurant explodes. Boom. Okay. If I had gone to that other restaurant, I would have been in the explosion. But because I went to the other, I decided, I just made that little decision. Okay. To go, then I'm okay. If I went to the other restaurant and I died, then that would set off this huge effect with my family. 
My wife would have lost a husband. If I had any kids, they would have lost a father. And that's the idea of a butterfly effect. Just a little small change that can have a big effect further on. Okay. There's actually a, a pretty cool movie called The Butterfly Effect. Oh, which movie? That's what it's called. Uh, let me find it here for you. And a Butterfly Effect movie. I saw this, and it's actually pretty good. So uh, let me put this uh, over here. I'll play the trailer for you. Okay. Let me... And uh, I haven't seen the trailer, but I have seen the movie. And it is pretty good. So let's take a look at the trailer. Okay. Can you see that? Remember when we were kids and I used to have those black hats? Well, some of those have been coming back to me. There are moments in life we choose to remember. Do you think that we'll be together forever? <laughs> and some memories. <laughs> movie to you? Yeah. Yeah, and actually, what basically what ha I won't I won't give you any spoilers. But uh, there's these four kids. They're they're young. They're probably like 10, 12 years old, something like that. And they play a practical joke. They want to do a practical a prank. But the prank goes very wrong. We'll say it goes very wrong. And, uh, and something bad happens. And because of what happened there, their lives went in a certain direction. And in the movie, they, the kid, they had the ability to go back in time and change something about the prank. They tried to do something right. Still something bad happens, but now something completely different happens with their lives. They go in other directions. So they're changing one little thing about the prank. And it completely changes the lives that they had. That's kind of like the butterfly effect. It's a good movie, so check it out if you want to. In your song. No. It's what? In Disney Hotstar. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Anyway, yeah, we got so caught up in uh, this other stuff, we didn't even start the lesson. Uh, the piano recital. Do you know what a recital is? Yeah. Okay. Just playing, uh, performing something in public. And your English is excellent, so I know we can just catch up with this. I normally would not show that butterfly effect to other students, but you're at a high level. Okay, what does it say here? Today we are going to talk about an event in a theater. Do you like to go to the theater? Why or why not? Okay. Yeah. So I like to go in a theater because I like movies. Yeah, we I can see movies and theaters. movies, some shows, etc. Yeah, so movie theaters normally do not have the stage. Yeah. Uh, I guess you could watch a movie, on, but uh, stage for like a play or musical performance, things like that. Yeah. Uh, they have a big TV type. It's a big TV. Okay. In the theater. That's true. Um, and we watch movies in that. Yeah, so it really depends on the place. Uh, if the theater is set up only for movies, they're not going to put up a stage there. But mm -hmm. I think in the past they had both. Okay, any questions or any comments, other comments here? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what more we have. Do you want to read this whole page or do you want me to read with you? I can. 
Are you playing the piano tonight for my feet? Yep. I'm playing a new song that is really tough. I have to concentrate hard to get it right. Awesome. I'll be in the audience. I can't wait to hear it. Thanks, Emma. All right. Easy page? Yeah. Yeah. Just chatting. They are, too, they are doing just, just chatting. That we are this. I will do this. You will see this or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, quickly, I think this will be easy for you. Uh, well, we have different definitions of go out. This is one of them. To stop working or come to an end. My family used candles when electricity went out. My little my little brother gets scared when the lights go out in a theater. Yeah, so usually like electricity. Uh, yesterday my internet actually went out. Uh, like thirty minutes after a class during the day, it it never does that. Maybe sometimes late at night, but that was strange. Mm. Okay. So I actually had to use, I have two internets, actually three ISPs, just in case something like that happens. Uh, concentrate. Concentrate. To think about something to give your, uh, what's this? To give your attention to something. Attention. To something, my sister concentrating on her homework. Yeah, so uh, that's why we don't usually want to have the TV on when we're doing homework. I don't know if it's happened to you, but if I'm doing homework with the TV and I'm writing and I see the TV and then I start watching the TV. Yeah. Yeah, so, but, so we want to just concentrate, focus on. Yeah, what we are doing. Uh, there are things go right. Yep. Okay, let's see what more we have. Audience. A group of a people who gather to watch something or listen to something. Sometimes the audience waited for the show to begin. Performance. An activity that person or group does to entertain an audience. Sentence, we wore light suits for my dance performance last night. Yeah, so it could be a play, musical performance, dance performance, anything you're doing in front of people to entertain them. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what more. Stage. A road platform in theater where the performance are. The stage is empty right now. I love to sing on stage. Okay. Someday. Yeah. So clap. We saw the clap. Uh huh. To hit palm of your hands together usually more than than once. Sometimes the audience clapped when the performance ended. Yep. And another word we you'll hear, give an ovation, ovation. Okay, so that's when the audience claps because they like what they heard. So they give an ovation. Another one, you'll, standing ovation. Have you ever heard of that expression, standing ovation? Standing ovation. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So I wrote in the chat, standing ovation. Do you know what that is? No. Okay. Well, in the audience, at the end, imagine someone plays the piano, it's over. People clap. They give an ovation. 
if people really think this was an excellent performance, they might stand up and clap. That's a standing ovation. It makes it even stronger. So, if you like something, you'll clap. Yeah, that was great. If you really, really, really like it, you'll stand up and say, wow, that's the best thing I've seen. Okay. And those are all the words for today. Do you have any questions? No. Great. Stage fright. Okay. Can you please read this page for me here? Some people love to be on stage and some people hate it. If someone is afraid to go on stage in front of an audience, we say they have stage fright. Do you ever get stage fright? Okay, that would be like public speaking also. If you've ever had to give a presentation in a classroom in front of your other people. No, ever... I, I sing in a stage. Okay. So did you ever have to speak in public in front of other people? Yeah. Yes, I have been on a stage. Uh, several times, but I feel good about one day on 16 January on our Republic, uh, sorry, 26 January on our Republic Day. I sang a song on stage and that day all have appreciated me like crazy. And everyone clapped. I received a award also for it. Wow, excellent, cool. Okay, so, uh, you know, even very famous singers, I, I know of some very famous singers, they say, and these are famous, world famous singers who have performed for many years, they say they get very scared before they go out and perform. So, even uh, people who have the experience, uh, once they start uh, singing, I guess they calm down. And that's what I think happens with most people. But, uh, but there was a survey. Uh, do you know what a survey is? The word survey? No. Okay. A survey is kind of like a, a questionnaire. People go around and ask uh, a question about something. Okay, if I say uh, I'm doing a survey on soda, and I might ask people, what is your favorite soda? And I have a list. Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, Orange. And I'm just asking people. I'm taking a survey. Mm. So that's the idea. And I'll write up the definition here and the word. Okay. And they did a survey about what scares people the most. They asked people, you know, what is the most frightening thing you can think of, the scariest thing? Number one was public speaking. Standing up and speaking in front of other people. Mm -hmm. that, that's what scared people the most. What do you think was number two? I don't know. Death. Death. People, uh, dying. That was the second most scariest thing. So it shows you how strong public uh, public speaking is. You have a choice. Uh, today, you can choose to speak in front of people or death. And you're like, hmm, let's see. Speaking, death. Speaking, death. I'll take death. Uh, so. so it shows you how scary it can be to speak in front of people. Any questions? No. Okay. 
And this will be easy for you, matching the words to the pictures here. This is performance. Yeah, it looks like performance to me there. This is audience. Mm -hmm. This is clap. Yep. This is concentrate. Easy. Okay. Super easy. Let's see what more we have. I don't know. Do you want to do this page or go to the next one? I should do it. You want to do this? Yes. Okay, so it is just uh, restating the sentences. We might just need to replace a word with this, what, these here. Sometimes we mm -hmm. might have to change the sentence. So number one, uh, we want to use go out. We couldn't see a thing. After the lights go out, suddenly stopped working. Yeah. So where can we put go out? Or And this is past tense. We couldn't, so. Yeah, okay. I have told you where I can put go out. I have told in that sentence. Oh, when the lights go out suddenly, stopped working? Yeah. Okay. Uh yeah, we just want to take this out, put went out right here, when the light suddenly went out. Oh, go out to went out. Okay, easy? Yes. Number two, concentrate. Where do we want to put concentrate or do we need to change anything? I need to work on my project, but... It is so noisy that I can't think. That I can't concentrate. Yep, I can't concentrate. Yeah, that one's pretty easy. And our last one here, audience. During my performance, I heard all the audi audience in the theater clapping. And we can change all the people. All the people is the audience. So I heard the audience. I'm just doing all of the, or you can say all of the people in the audience clapping. So you can say it two different ways. A lot of times we can say things in different ways. Any questions here? No. Yeah. Okay, so we just have a couple minutes left. And, um, well, we kind of talked about this in a way. Standing ovation, given ovation. Uh, are there other ways people uh, express their appreciation? They clap only. Okay. Uh where in the United States, people might whistle. So you'll hear people clapping, whistling. Uh, sometimes they might stomp their feet. I've been to concerts where people are kind of just boom, boom, boom. Because they want the, the musicians to continue. And I think it might be different depending on the country. I think in Russia... If you whistle, it means you did not like what you saw. Oh. I think. I might be wrong on that. Okay. And uh, you said on stage. You sing on stage? Yeah, I sing. Okay. So you're not afraid to get on stage in front of people and perform? That's no. easy. Okay. It's That's really cool. fun. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if I would. I think maybe in the beginning I might be a little nervous, but uh, because because I will really get so much of appreciation. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So Aryan, I think we'll stop here. We only have about forty-five seconds left. Do you have any yeah. questions on anything today? No. So what are your plans? What is your plan for the rest of the night? 
Uh, I'll just sleep. Go to bed? Yeah. Until the morning. Okay. Well, that sounds like a good plan to me. And, uh, me also. Do you, yeah, do you have a routine before you go to sleep? I like to read or watch a movie for a few minutes and then go to sleep. No, when I sleep, I see... Uh, um, my mom just watch some things in mobile, so I also watch with my mom, and then I, then I feel sleepy, and after that.